In this video, I will show you how to get free streaming for your radio station, how to get it up and running with software that is completely free as well. I will also show you how to get around some tricky problems that can stop your streaming from working. These problems can be very frustrating and can cause you to give up altogether. So let me walk you through step by step to get your streaming station up and running. This way of setting up your streaming is actually very easy even for a complete beginner if you follow what I show step by step. You don't need any prior knowledge or experience with streaming. Let's start by getting the software. For this type of streaming, you will need a program called Winamp. A link is in the description to download it. Winamp, like many pieces of free software, does have some missing parts. These include lame MP3 plugin and Shoutcast or Icecast streaming plugins. There are links in the description to download these too. So download these first, then extract the files and put these lame MP3 extracted files into the Winamp files in the shared folder of your Winamp installation. An important note here, even if your PC is 64-bit, you should use the 32-bit version because the 64-bit version can cause problems. This is one place it can all go wrong. Most people have 64-bit computers now, but lame MP3 encoder often goes wonky in 64-bit. The great news is that the 32-bit version works great in Winamp even if your PC is 64-bit. So if you find the 64-bit version just does not work and you keep seeing this message, then use the 32-bit version. If your PC is 32-bit, then you shouldn't run into this problem. Coming up, I'll show you how to use just one amp for your whole radio station. Hopefully, this plugin step will have saved you hours of frustration. If you follow videos on YouTube who show how to install the plugins, many of these YouTube videos don't show that the 64 bit lame version sometimes does not work even if you do everything right. This can cause you to give up altogether when it's just a simple fix of using the 32 bit. To install the Shoutcast streaming plugin, simply run the installation program you downloaded from the link in the description and make sure it installs into the Winamp folder. Coming up, I'll show you how to run a separate music player on your PC so you don't have to use Winamp as your player but just using Winamp as the streamer. Once you have these set up, you will need a virtual cable if you intend to run the music from the same computer you are streaming with a separate music player. There is a link in the description for a free download of that too. If you have an external PC you run your music from or have a studio that you can send the audio from, then you just need to plug the audio from that studio into the streaming PC through your audio card line input. The downside of this is that no metadata about the songs will go with the stream. If you stream, for example, from Radio DJ software, you can send all the song info with the stream. The same applies with Winamp. If you play your music from Winamp, the metadata goes with it too. The downside of using Winamp as your music player is that you will not be able to use the mic talk button to speak but can only play pre-recorded radio links and your music from the Winamp player. If you are running a separate computer, you will have to send the metadata from that PC to your streaming service or just not send it at all. Coming up, I will show you how to get free streaming that plugs right into your Winamp software. If you want to talk on air using another piece of audio software like Radio DJ or Media Player as your music player, you can use the Winamp talk button or another free piece of software called Voice Meter Banana. I will do an entire setup of this in another video, so be sure to subscribe for that. To keep things simple though, you can use Winamp as your streamer and your way of speaking on your radio station with another media player for your music. Simply put your song list into the media player like Radio DJ and then when you speak, use this talk button. You will need to click lock to keep it pressed down while you speak. If you have an external trigger plugged into your PC, you can use just the talk button and once the trigger is released, it will release the button. You will need to set your levels here to make sure your voice input and music are at the same level. 
you will also need to set the music playlist of your other media player to stop when you want to speak or it will go straight from one song into another. This is fine if you want to talk across the mix. Most non-automation software players do not use intelligent crossovers like radio DJ software, so the song will simply stop and the next song will begin like a normal music player and not a professional music crossover. Now to set up the stream, you need to sign up with one of these streaming companies. The first one allows for up to 5,000 listeners at a time with unlimited bandwidth, so you can play at any bitrate. It is completely free, but there are adverts that play and you can't see your listener stats. If you want to see your listener numbers and want to remove the adverts, this can cost around $5 to $10 a month. Once again, the link is in the description. The second streaming company does not play adverts on your stream, but the bitrate is limited to 32 kilobits per second, so you will need to run the AAC plugin to make the audio better. There is a small startup fee of $5, but then the streaming is completely free. Once you have signed up with your streaming service, you will get these bits of info in your email. The only parts you need are the streaming host address, which goes here, the port number, which goes here, and the password, which goes here. You don't need to put a DJ name in, but you can if you want. You then need to select the MP3 encoder using this tab. Select the encoder, whether it's MP3 or another one that you have like AAC. Then select the bitrate. For the free streaming that is limited to 32 kilobits per second, you need to use the AAC encoder to make it sound better. If you want to run everything from Winamp, simply leave the input here on Winamp Player. If you are using another player like Radio DJ, then be sure to install the virtual cable and then in the other player like Radio DJ, select the output to be the virtual cable and then in Winamp, select the input to be the virtual cable. Without the virtual cable, you can run into all sorts of problems with what audio is coming from your player and what is going to the streamer and even what audio you can hear on your speakers. Then simply go back to the main tab and click start stream. Be sure to click auto connect just in case your stream goes down for any reason and it will automatically reconnect. When your streaming is running, you should see both the info about the data being transferred and see the audio levels here. If you don't see the stream information, you will have to check that you have the right information here and that the PC is connected properly to the internet and that your streaming is turned on on the server. If you don't see the audio levels here, you will have to check if you have selected the correct settings for the inputs. If you are only using Winamp for everything, you will see the level which come from the song playing on Winamp. So play a song so that you can see that there are audio levels. Next we look at using Radio DJ software to run your radio station and your streaming. It is a bit more complicated to set up because Radio DJ software does not have a button to push to switch your microphone on to speak. For this, you'll be using Voice Meter Banana software which is free as well as the free virtual cable. It also takes a bit of a steeper learning curve to get the music player up and running as opposed to the easy setup of Winamp. The setup of streaming is not that much more difficult, but getting the Radio DJ software running smoothly does take a lot more work of installing all the songs into the system, loading jingles, setting up playlist structures, and running the full automation. It is however well worth the effort because of the crazy amounts of benefits as a result. For now though, let's stick with Winamp so you can enjoy the pleasure of a simpler, quicker setup so you can get up and running first. Once you are quite comfortable with using Winamp to broadcast and you're feeling like you need more bells and whistles, then we can move on to running Radio DJ. If the next video is not ready yet, be sure to subscribe to be notified when it's ready. The great thing about continuous streaming is you can pre-record links and put them into your playlist and have them play even while you're asleep. You can do this with Winamp using just the playlist 
or with radio DJ software where your mixes will be intelligent and sound way more professional, including creating playlist rotation that makes life so much easier than building your own playlists. With Winamp though, it is as simple as throwing in your songs and even some jingles if you want. It is pretty basic, but works great if you are a first-timer and have not set up anything like this before. It can also be loads of fun just getting running and making shows to broadcast without all the worry of all the technical stuff and where it can go wrong. The automation features on Radio DJ software are truly worth the effort of learning how to use the software. See you in that video.